Sports Tonight is back again. We're broadcasting live from Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's good to have you join us once again to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakban. I'm Ajo Pinnick. Taiwo Ogunjobi, and of course, Chinedu Okoye, and Aminu Megari are gone in for the NFF presidency. Who is going to be the next president of the Nigeria Football Federation? Will Amadou Pinnick win again to continue for a second term? Will Megari make a return? Can Taiwo Ogunjobi pull a shocker in Katsina State? Or Chinedu Okoye that no one is talking about? Can we see a surprise on Thursday? The Nigeria Football Federation Elective Congress will get our attention tonight on the program. We'll also let you know what's going on at the African Under-21 Volleyball Nations Cup. Yes, I can tell you, Nigeria has ended that tournament as fifth position. Yes, they defeated Congo DR 3-0 to finish fifth. Don't, don't get hard. It's volleyball. We'll talk about it often. There's the new board. And they're saying that they are learning one or two things from this competition. So uh, we love it. We like it. So let's see what they can do with this experience from the championship. And the African body says, look, uh, Nigeria needs to organize more competitions. That's another way we can develop volleyball in the country. We'll talk about it on the show tonight. Also, we'll take a look at the development of freestyle football in Africa. Nigeria has just hosted the African championship. It, look, we didn't win. But it was good because persons are saying that, look, we can use this to develop the sports in the country. And, of course, uh, with ambassadors such as Waidi Akoni and John Fashanu, they are optimistic that with the talent seen in Lagos, that more can come out of freestyle football. We'll talk about it on the show tonight on the program. Uh, the world's biggest club football competition is upon us once again. The UEFA Champions League, and what a story for Barcelona. Lionel Messi telling us once again that he's unstoppable, getting a hat trick in Barcelona's first match against PSV, then 4-0. We'll talk about the UEFA Champions League on the show today. We'll also take a look at club football. Yes, Arsenal, what's going on? Ivan Gazidis, uh, he has left his role as chief executive. At a time that the Gunners are thinking that, look, uh, we're getting some stability, there's a new coach, you're beginning to understand. Uh, Live after Arsene Wenger, uh, this is time also Kronka and his stake at the club. Uh, Gazidi is now living. Arsenal fans, you should be part of the program tonight. What's your take when you heard about uh, that news? Talk to us so much going down in the UEFA Champions League. We will talk about it. And of course, every other thing that you want to talk about, Taekwondo is also in the menu. So if you're ready, let's go. That's our feedback mechanism on your screen right there. Uh, talk to us just about anything that I've just mentioned, particularly the Nigeria Football Federation election is going to take place in Katsina. The advanced party, they are already there, clearing the way by tomorrow. You'll be hearing so much coming out of the different camps. Uh, you know, it's football administration in Nigeria, so it's a big deal. CAF and FIFA, they are sent in their representatives saying, now go and monitor it, just in case. When well, hearing stories, we can turn to somebody and say, what happened? So, CAF and FIFA representatives, they are already uh, getting set uh, for that one also. So, talk to us uh, on Twitter channels, on the sports, Facebook channels, or if it's supposed to send us an email, sports tonight at channelstv.com. Use the hashtag football administration in Nigeria. That should get our attention big time on the program today. Also, just to let you know, all our top stories can be viewed on our website, channelstv.com, and on YouTube, first slash channels web. If you log on to m.channelstv.com, you should be able to download the Channels TV app for any of those devices that you see right there your iPad, your iPhone, your Blackberry, your iOS, your Windows phones, and your Android phones. Log on to m.channelstv.com, download the app. And it's as simple as that. You'll be part of everything that is going down tonight on the program. Sports Tonight on your award-winning sports-loving channels, television, wherever you are in the world. Welcome on board. This is the Fun Factory. Let's have some fun talking sports now. Cosmos Chukemeka is here with me. We'll be doing this together. Cosmos, good to have you on the show. Well, it's good to be here. I mean, you just called out the numbers. Bumper package on mm. Sports Tonight. Mm. This night, and certainly it's going to be fun. I mean, um, <laughs> of course, uh, yeah, we, we talk football on and off the pitch. Yeah, <laughs> you know, of the pitch as per the, uh, um, uh, the uh, future of the Nigeria Football Federation. I mean, the leadership of the Nigeria Football Federation. I mean, it's going to be decision day from on Thursday. Uh, certainly, we talk about that as well. Of course, in the UEFA Champions League too. Yeah. Uh, so <clears> much <throat> happening. Um, remember in 1992 when the UEFA Champions League, you know, officially 
um, started as UEFA Champions League. The first person that scored a goal in the UEFA Champions League was our own Nigeria Bulldog, Daniel Lamokachi. Mm. At that time, he was playing for Club Bruge and he scored the first ever goal of the UEFA Champions League awesome. in 1992. Awesome. Today, Lionel Messi was the first person to score for the 2017-2018, I mean, 2018-2019 season, and he didn't, he didn't just score one. He scored three, That's a hat-trick of goals. So, so much happening, mm. and, um, you know, the timing has encouraged more games. Um, you know, there are two timings, and you have about um, four teams playing at each time. So much to talk about when it comes to the UEFA Champions League, and it's ongoing right now. Several goals being scored, and certainly we're going to be here to talk about them. That's right. We'll talk about it on the show tonight. Some games already uh, played and concluded. We told you that of uh, PSV and Barcelona. There are other games still going on. We'll give you all the updates. To still, let's run through it. Club Bruges and Borussia Dortmund are still goalless. Monaco is losing at home to the disciplined. Atletico Madrid team, yep. and, and that's a confirmation of full-time result uh, between Barcelona and PSV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inter Milan defeated Tottenham, 2-1. Uh, so Tottenham was leading, uh, and then Inter Milan you know, bounced back and yeah. went on uh, to win the rest of Ber uh, Belgrade and Napoli, playing goalless while Liverpool ah, so won up against PSG. Yeah, certainly. I mean, mm. um, as I said, there's so much to talk about. Of course, we know that Galatasaray is that so um, uh, winning locomotive Moscow, um, one nil, and of course it's still goalless um, in Germany between Shaka Ofo and Porto. And I mean, you just read it out, and uh, so much, so much talk to talk about. I mean, at the Guesape Mesa Stadium, which of course everybody knows at the San Siro Stadium, um, Inter Milan had to come back from um, behind uh, you know, and get a much weeded win. This is the first time Inter Milan will be back in the UEFA Champions League in about four years. And um, you know, they got that win. Mary Caddy um, getting the first one for them, of course. Um, removing the goals that um, Tottenham Hotspur scored. And yeah, it went on like that. They won 2-1. So much, so much to talk about um, in the UEFA Champions League, but certainly it has to be one man, as I mentioned le earlier. Mm. Lionel Messi scoring a hat trick of goals. I mean, first goal was a sublime free kick, and of course, um, you know, it was just as if it was a show of Lionel Messi and Usman Dembele um, in that one as well. So, um, f two of them got the goal for Barcelona, and of course, against the PSV side that are coming back to the Champions yep. League in about yep. three years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, so Baptism Lionel of Messi fire. Saying, Don't mm -hmm. touch me. I'm still <laughs> unstoppable. We'll continue to monitor the UEFA Champions League games that are, are being played. I will give you all the updates tonight on the program. Let's bring the discussion back home right here in Lagos State. Uh, we keep saying infrastructure development is important towards so any country's sports development. And the Lagos State government, uh, they've identified that that's one key area they can start in getting sports uh, to the level that they want to. Talking about international standard. Let's see the Teslim Balogun Stadium. You'll not believe it. Uh, they meant business when they said they want to start the regrassing of the Teslim Balogun Stadium. So Cosmos of goes the synthetic pitch. Yeah, and of course, on comes the <laughs> natural grass. <laughs> mm. Mm. I mean, um, uh, they understand the fact that, um, I mean, it used to be a grass pitch uh, before, um, in, during the administration of um, the now Minister of um, um, Power, um, Baba Today, uh, Raji Fashala, they decided to go synthetic for the uh, 2009 on the 17 FIFA World Cup. And, uh, you know, they feel that um, they need to get back to grass, you know, so that they can lure back, if I can use that word, the Super Eagles <laughs> of Nigeria, um, back to Lagos. Um, I mean, mm. uh, the only one time that the Super Eagles played on this pitch was um, in a friendly against Syria Loon. And the, uh, that was when the uh, first match of um, Samson Siasi had the coach of the Super Eagles at the time. And we know eventually what happened. And you need to see the way the synthetic uh, pitch is mm. being removed. It's like a carpet. And they're removing it and they're trying to lay the grass back. Um, I would have said that why not mix it up um, like what we have in the uh, Aba. In Aba. Uh, in mm. Aba. Mm. Why not mix it up? But then I, I feel they know what they want to do. Um, for me, 
anything and, that will develop sports in Lagos. And, and it's about being committed to it. It's about saying, look, we say we want grass, so mm -hmm. we should be ready to maintain grass. Yes. We should be able to keep it in good shape. I mean, this is Lagos State. Lagos State should be able to have a world-class facility and maintain it. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, it will be good. What we saw in Aba uh, looks good, but we don't know the downside of it, too. So if Lagos State says they're going, to, they're going to do grass, we love it. We welcome it. And this is the first step towards seeing that grass come on. This needs to go off. Yeah. And it is going it's off. It's going off. Mm. And um, I hear in about a month or two, uh, we're going to have grass. Um, uh, you know, they, I don't know how fast that can be. But um, I, I, I like, I like the, the uh, approach of sports of Lagos State. Um, especially in the last um, 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 12 years. I'm talking about um, 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 after Governor Fashola and, of course, now that we have Governor Ambody, the approach that they have given to sport, I mean, it has never been this good. That's and good. they want to make sure that mm. everything is good. I mean, there's an Onikon Stadium that is being built, um, which is going to be, they call it the arena. I mean, it's going to be fantastic as well, and this one as well. So let's just see how it goes, and kudos must go to the Lagos State government mm. for this. Okay, so that's it. Um, grassroots uh, infrastructure development in action, and the Lagos State government, they are putting words, uh, action to words. They said they want to, you know, develop sports and start with the facilities, and they're doing just that. We saw, and they're still working at, at the Gege Stadium, Onikon Stadium, and now the grass at... Um, the regrassing of testing Balogun Stadium has just commenced. We'll continue to monitor it just in case there's a pause. We'll say, hey, Lagos State Government, what's going on? Uh, but with our uh, quick Tando, who is the chairman of the Lagos State Sports Commission, he has assured that they are committed to this and then they will make it happen. So that's a good one. Um, hopefully other states will see what Lagos is doing. We still have some stadiums in this country that when you go there, you ask questions. So uh, let's, let's make it good. That's the first way to start rebranding sports in Nigeria. Let's get on with the show now. Uh, go to Abuja. Yes, the Abuja National Stadium too. The pitch is nothing to write about. You can't yeah. even go there. Mm -hmm. uh, look at it. You know, it's, not, <laughs> it's not a good site. But uh, the indoor sports hall is still functional. And that's where we're having the African Under-21 Volleyball Nations Cup. And we've been giving you updates. Uh, the final will be played tomorrow between Egypt, Egypt and Tunisia. But Nigeria has ended at uh, our championship. Our customers by finishing fifth, they defeated Congo DR 3 0. Now, for me, uh, some wants to see victory. It's good when you come and say, Oh, the Nigerian team won. But it's also uh, a wake up call when you don't win. You start asking questions for the Federation. After seeing what the girls did in Nairobi, Kenya, under 20, yeah. and now we're seeing under 21 for the men, there must be lessons in it for them. Certainly, I mean, big time lessons. And you, you should understand that um, it is underage competition to get the uh, um, f uh, future stars of the sport. And um, it's a good one that actually did it, you yeah. know, on home turf. So I, I, I feel so much lessons. And the big lesson for me is yeah. maximize on this. And make them better. Yeah. That was yes. a big one for me. That's a lesson for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Nigeria Volleyball Federation will go back and then find ways they can, you know, get better with the experience from uh, the African Under-21 Nations Cup uh, Championship. And also the African body has said, look, Nigeria can be better with this sport. They need to organize more events. And that's a charge to the Ministry for Youth and Sports and, of course, the volleyball family in the country. Let's go on this break. Sports tonight on Channels Television. When we come back, what's going on? I will find out what's going on with Taekwondo in Nigeria. Cherry good news. So don't go anywhere. Stay.